What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. Today we have yoga for mood swings. This is an amazing practice if you're feeling off for whatever reason. If you feel like you've hit a wall or you're feeling a little stuck for whatever reason, this is going to be an awesome practice for you. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. Ankles crossed, sit up nice and tall. If you need to sit up on a little blankie or block or something to lift the hips up here, uh, please do. That's a great option when you feel like, oh, I can't even sit cross-legged. This will give you a little bit of space to drop the knees below the hips and find length up through the spine. So there's no rush. You obviously turned on this video to tend to it, tend to you, whatever it is today. So there's no rush here. This is not something you have to do. This is something you chose to do to find what feels good. So take your time getting settled in today. So sometimes there's this inevitable desire to like do it right or be with the video or do it perfect. Not today and not ever, but not today. I'm really going to invite you, encourage you to take your time. Just drop the pin down whenever you're ready. Get the room situated, whatever you need to do to sit up nice and tall. And even if you're not alone, you are with your company, you know, by family or pets or distracting thoughts, just do your best. Life is good. We're going to start appreciating our body and this moment, accepting where we are today by noticing the breath. And then when you're ready and in your own time, you'll begin to deepen the breath. Inhaling deeply whenever you're ready again. And whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready, big breath in. And whenever you're ready, big breath out. So I guess I'm really trying to hit home that I'd like for you to start today's practice just on your own. Sukhasana, closing the eyes, breathing, and just allowing for whatever the hell's going on to just exist. And then hopefully you're noticing that just by pausing to take a moment to acknowledge what is and embrace what is, accept what is, your breath and your body connect naturally. Hopefully you've taken a couple good exhales. And then when you feel ready, when you feel set, go ahead and bring the hands together at the heart, Anjali Mudra. And I'd like for you to decide what feels best, soft palms here or active hands. So again, just checking in this way. And then take one more big breath. And on an exhale, bow your head to your heart, the mind intelligence to the body intelligence, the heart. And at the very least, if all of that isn't really your thing, you're getting a nice big stretch in the back of the neck. Everyone begin to lift up more through the center channel of your body, this plumb line, this midline, lifting up, chin to chest. Take two more deep breaths here. Awesome, then slowly lift the head, bat the eyelashes open, smile a little bit, just if you can. And then we'll take the left hand over to the right knee. Inhale, reach all the way up with the right fingertips, find length. Then try to keep that length as you release right fingertips back down behind you, gentle twist here. So no need to crank, crank, crank. We're actually looking for the length here. Inhaling, reaching up, hopefully finding a little grace in this moment as you breathe in and out, in and out. So there is, I believe, grace, whatever that means to you, all around us all the time. And sometimes when we get stuck, whether it's a chemical imbalance or if someone cuts us off on the road, yeah, it does affect our mood and that's human. But I believe the tools of yoga and the practice of yoga really give us an opportunity to 
practice just having that awareness of, ah, am I feeding into this sort of thing that stresses me out and gives me anxiety? Or can I stop and just notice and accept and remember, ah, there's grace in everything. There's grace all around me. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, release back to center. Right hand comes to the left knee. And then once again, just reach your left fingertips up. Just find that stretch, that lift, that lengthen. And then try to keep, keep that lift up through your heart as you release the fingertips down. So a little bit of a different way going into this twist. And that's so that you keep that lift in your heart. Just kind of encouraging the organs to, to lift up, stimulate, without necessarily cranking. So if you're feeling brave, close your eyes here and we'll take a couple breaths. Just feeling that grace wash up and down the spine, whatever that means to you. Just enjoying this moment of peace. Or if you're not enjoying it yet, just being open to it. Cool beans, then release back to center. Take a second to find those thriller arms stretching through the forearms, plugging the shoulders back, big breath in. And then talk to the hand, flip it, reverse it, work it. If you need more here, you're craving a little deeper stretch, you can take the palm to the finger, stretch and stretch. And then release. Awesome. We're going to come all the way down now onto all fours and go right into a cat cow. So find your tabletop position. And then when you're ready, begin to move with your breath, dropping the belly, looking up as you inhale. And then rounding through the spine, tucking the chin to the chest as you exhale. Inhale, drop the belly. Heart reaches forward. We look up. And exhale, rounding through. Now keep it going on your own for a couple more rounds. See if you can hear the sound of your breath. Maybe close the eyes, observe how you feel. Awesome. Do one more. One more cycle. Then inhale, come back to that tabletop. Bring the big toes together, knees as wide as your yoga mat, and send those hips back, babe. Extended child's pose. Three breaths, three breath cycles in and out here. You can decide whether you want active arms here, lifting the elbows, shoulders engaged, stable, or soft fingers, maybe palms up, a surrender. Three breath cycles in and out. here. Inhale, fill the back body with air. Feel it expand. And exhale. Gorgeous. Come back up to all fours. Notice if you're starting to feel a little better already, and if not, it's all right. Just stay open to it. From here, we're going to curl the toes under and then send the hips back and we're going to come to sit on the heels. Now, if that's not available to you, you're just going to adjust by coming side saddle. No problem. We're not going to be here long, just stimulating the feet, opening up through the chest eventually. So you'll come up, lift up through the heart. A great way to take some of the pressure off the feet is to, again, keep that lift, mula bandha, lifting from the pelvic floor. So great for these organs too. So we're drawing up just gently and then swim the fingertips around, Shalambhasana arms. We open the chest, interlace the fingertips behind. Maybe we're trying to get the palms together, but if the shoulders are really tight, we just keep them nice and square. Maybe you nod the head gently, yes. And then no. Don't be saying no, 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 when it's really yeah, 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 yeah. Great, now this video is going to get flagged. Just kidding. Destiny's Child said I can sing that. Okay, big breath in. 
and then exhale, release. And when you do, find what feels good, break free. <sighs> yeah. So maybe it's just that I'm too imaginative. I played too many games as an only child, but it's like every time you have an opportunity like this in yoga to transition, are you just doing what you're told? Release, okay? Or can you enjoy even that? Maybe you're in a bad mood. <sighs> break free. <sighs> in fact, everybody do it again. Interlace the fingertips. Inhale, lift your heart. And then exhale, break free, have fun. <sighs> awesome. Downward facing dog. So take your time getting there. Eventually we'll lift the hips up high. Heart melts back and you're gonna start by taking your dog on a nice slow walk. Big breaths in and out through the nose. Exhaling out through the mouth whenever you need. <sighs> Take one more deep breath in, and then exhale, find stillness. Tops of the shoulders away from the ears. You can keep the knees bent if you need to. Find stillness, close your eyes. Root down through that index finger and thumb. One more breath cycle in and out here. Beautiful, then slowly lower the knees. Swing the legs to one side and take both legs out in front. Pashimottanasana. Nice and slow and steady today again. This is not something you have to do. This is something you chose to do. You should feel empowered, good, excited by your choice. Move the fleshy part of the buttocks aside. Keep the heels in line with the thigh bones, the hips. And then bend the knees as generously as you need to here. As once again, we find a little grace here. So inhale, reach the fingertips up, keep it soft. And then exhale, we surrender, bow forward. So notice I'm not inhaling, finding this rigid. That's another video, that's another time. Be kind to yourself, keep it soft and easy. Bend the knees so you can bring the belly to the tops of the thighs maybe. And then a little bit of energy in the toes. And then once you feel like you got to a place that feels good, I'd like to invite you to loop the shoulders, pull them back like we did in Thriller Arms, and inhale, look forward. Exhale, rounding through the spine, chin to chest. Maybe you begin to straighten the legs, maybe not. Maybe that's not what's going on in your body today. And then we surrender. Once again, chin to chest, bowing the head, the mind intelligence to the body intelligence, connecting the two, deep breathing. Take one more breath cycle in and out. Listen to the sound of your breath. Don't be shy. Then root down through your sitting bones, tuck the chin into the chest even more so you really feel that stretch and then slowly roll it up, stacking through the spine, coming into alignment here. So the body is a metaphor for show. And so I like the idea of uh, surrendering and then rolling up through the spine. So if you're in a bad mood or you were not feeling well, just, you know, something's not right. Yoga is a great way to, you know, move it around, stir the energy, but then also come back into your alignment, right? Your flow. If you feel out of it, then rolling up through the spine is a great little metaphor for uh, coming back into it, into alignment. Shut up, Adrian. Let's keep going. Okay, bend the right knee. We're going to lift the right foot up and over. Press the right foot into the earth. And if you have to shift your right uh, sitting bone forward here, you actually can today. So usually we try to keep the hips square. But sometimes I think it's nice to just go ahead and come in tight, especially for the ladies here today, maybe. Or, or the men, anyone. Lift up through your heart. Squeeze that right knee into the shoulder. All right, so hook right elbow to your right knee for, for, to, for starters to start here. And we're going to bring the left hand to the ground. Now inhale, draw your chin up towards the sky. And you're going to feel this amazing stretch in the right side of the neck here. And then you could stay here, my sweet friend. Or you're going to release the right fingertips up gracefully, gracefully, and grandfully. Gracefully and grandly. If you get that movie reference, comment down below. I'm gonna 
love you forever. Gracefully reach the arm all the way up and gradually over. So again, you can just be here or up and over here. If you'd like a little more, you can release right fingertips all the way down to the ground. So once again, we're here. Draw the left shoulder down so it's not collapsed here, really creating space. We're here. Or maybe all the way down here. Take one more breath wherever you are. This is a great little challenge to focus on sensation over a specific shape, right? And then we'll release. I'm going to take the left foot, bring it in. Gomukhasan, cow legs. So you could just stay here or we'll work to bring the right knee on top of the left. I like to use my fingertips to lift my hips up so I can find that square. And then the hands are going to come to the soles of the feet here. You lift your heart. For a lot of us, this is already a really great deep mama jama hip stretch. But if you'd like a little more, you can send the fingertips up gracefully and grandfully we bow forward. I don't even know if that's what she says. Gracefully and grandfully. Allow the head to round over if you, really, if you come into this forward fold so that you can really let go of the muscles in the neck so you're not holding. And then if you are bowing forward, roll up through the spine. And then everyone gently send the legs out. Second round, Paschimottanasana, heels in line with the hip points. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Try to keep that lift up through the front body as you exhale, bowing forward. Again, bend the knees as generously as you need to. Inhale, look forward, and then exhale, rounding. Close your eyes, see if you can hear the sound of your breath. Calming the nervous system, balancing out all the systems with the power, the healing power of the breath. And one more deep inhale in. Exhale, chin to chest, really active chin to chest as you roll up, stacking, coming back into your alignment, back into the flow of things. Left knee bends, left foot comes up and over. Again, feel free to bring the hip forward a little bit here, left hip forward. We're gonna hug left elbow to left knee. And when you're ready, sit up nice and tall, right hand comes off to the side here. Here we go, drawing the chin all the way up towards the sky. Think about this length coming out through the crown of the head so you're not collapsed here. So there is a bit of um, softness or femininity, I guess, to this. And it can be challenged if you're challenging if you're really just used to like yoga asana being strict. So it's kind of part of the practice today. Seeing if you can nurture yourself and tend to yourself and find what feels good when things are not in their normal place. Send the left fingertips up if you like. Again, option to bring them all the way down. Maybe you find a little movement here that feels good. Or maybe stay here. Take one more breath wherever you are. Mm, slowly coming back. Gomukhasan legs will bring that right heel in. Take your time. We're working to stack the knees, but maybe that's not available to you. Maybe you might try as a variation a fire log pose. Whoa, my hips don't, did not want that. <laughs> no ma'am. Hands come to the arches of the feet. We sit up nice and tall. This side is going to be different, so notice, stay present. And maybe you take it forward, reaching fingertips all the way up and bowing the head. Or maybe it's enough to just breathe here, nice conscious breaths, sitting up nice and tall. You bring the breath.
really breathing conscious breaths in yoga on the mat or off the mat is really the best way of like taking responsibility for your own beep, right? Seems like such an easy thing, right? Breathing, but we take it for granted. Our, our body is amazing and then it keeps us breathing without us having to tell it every moment to breathe in and out, in and out, in and out. But these conscious breaths, so powerful. Doesn't cost a thing. If you are bowing forward here, begin to roll up nice and tall. Sweet, then we'll release nice and easy. Coming to lie flat back, you're doing awesome. Take your time. As you arrive, right away, feel the earth supporting you. So this might sound a little cheesy, but I'm guessing you could use it, and I could too. So rather than just coming to flat back, okay, ready for the next yoga pose, just come to your back and feel. Close your eyes, imagine, use your creative energy, which is super powerful energy, to imagine the earth rising up to meet your back body. And if you really want to go for the gold, close your eyes and quietly whisper to yourself, I am supported. Couple more breaths here, this is it. Just feeling your back body supported. Nothing fancy, but super beneficial. When you're ready, coming into Supta Baddha Konasana, which is where we'll end our practice today. So you'll take the arms out wide to start and bring the feet together again whenever you're ready. Opening the knees slowly. And then making any adjustments in the head, the neck, I encourage you to snuggle your shoulder blades right underneath your heart space so you can find nice opening in the chest. And then if you're feeling a little too vulnerable here, you might take the left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly, it feels nice. If you're like, whoa, I've been really fiery, really hot, maybe I need to cool off even more, I'm gonna interlace the fingertips behind the head, extend the thumbs, give myself a little Neck massage. Wherever you are, take a deep breath in. And this time, exhale out through the mouth. Stay here as long as you like, as long as time allows. Before you get up, be sure to take a moment to appreciate yourself for showing up here on your yoga mat. The mind and body are totally amazing, and therefore, so are you. So you done good, kid. I hope you feel better. I hope you're able to have an amazing rest of your day or your night. And I'll see you next time. Namaste.